My name is Razwan Ulhaq. I am a calligraphy artist and author. In 2019, Andrew Orr, Senior Librarian, Blackburn Central Library, helped me in my calligraphy tour of libraries in the north of England. During lockdown, Andrew commissioned this resource that could be accessible to people from the luxury of their own homes. My interest in calligraphy developed from my family. My uncle, Molvi Fazal Azim, was a great calligrapher. Here you can see his Arabic calligraphy. He was also the calligrapher of this book, Beshti Zeva. My own work draws on using calligraphy in differing contexts. My books also contain my Arabic calligraphy. Arabic calligraphy starts practically with pens, then reading, then experimentation with pens. I've collected pens from all over the world. From pens, we go back to reading again, and then back to pens and the process continues. Let's begin the process of choosing the right pen for our workshop session. These special pens or columns are often handmade and created for different scripts and different purposes. When choosing a pen, do not look at the outward appearance, but how well it will fit the purpose for your writing. Let me show you how I make my ink. This is a silk thread that ensures your pen does not take too much ink. Ink will be poured over this thread. Dried ink granules. These will be added to rainwater and rose water. All of this mixed together makes the ink that we will use in the session. Arabic calligraphy has many scripts. You are presently looking at an Arabic Thaluth calligraphic composition by an advanced Arabic Thaluth calligrapher. This is Kufic calligraphy. An example of Nastaliq Arabic calligraphy. 
My specialism is Dastalik. And this is one of my handwritten pieces. In this session, I will be teaching the basic Arabic Dastalik alphabet. Don't worry if you don't have calligraphy equipment. You can just use a pencil. On the left is the classic way of writing a nukta. Nukta means dot. On the right is a nukta written in Dastalik. And now, your turn to have a go. If you don't have a calligraphy pen, use a pencil. Alif is the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. It is three dots. To. Now, your turn. Have a go at drawing the Alif. This is the next basic form for you to learn. Five nukte long, a nukte underneath, the letter ba. Two nukte at the top, the letter ta. Three nukte, tha. See how this letter ends, because it's now your turn to have a go. Again, don't worry if you don't have the correct calligraphy equipment. The letter HA. Look at the proportions of this letter by the black dots. One nukta inside and it becomes the letter JIM. Nukta above and it becomes the letter KHA. And now it's your turn. <laughs> Calligraphy and nature are related. As you stand out here with me, let me introduce you to the great 14th century Persian calligrapher Mir 
Ali Tabriz. Legend has it that he invented the Stalik from a vision. A vision where he was inspired by flying geese. The letter Dal to Nukte Tol, a dot above, and it becomes Zal. Now it's your turn. The letter Ra to Nukte Tol. A dot above transforms Ra into Za. Now your turn. Letter scene. These are the proportions. Three nukte above, it becomes sheen. Your turn now. The script of Nastalik, inspired by flying geese. I wonder if you can see nature in the script of Arabic Nastalik. The letter sword. Black nukte show the proportions. A nukta above and it creates the letter dod.
and it's your turn now. The letter TO Black Nukte showing the proportions Nukta above to make the letter ZWA See your turn. Letter Ein. See the proportions. A nukta above and it transforms to Rein. It's now your turn. Letter far. Note the proportions. Have a go at writing the letter far. If you want to be a calligrapher, then practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. Letter Qaf. Note the proportions. It's your time to practice.
letter calf. Note the proportions. And now, it's your turn. Letter Lam. Note the proportions. Have a go at the letter Lam. Note the proportions of the letter meme. Your turn now. Letter Noon. Note the proportions. This is quite a difficult letter, but have a go.
Letter Wow stands two nukte tall. And now it's your turn. Letter Ha. It's just over one nukta as it stands. letter ya it can be a little tricky to write so don't worry have a go at writing the letter ya Elongated ya. The proportions. And now, have a go.
In this introductory video, we have introduced the letters of the Arabic Nastaliq alphabet. Did you know you could even compose art from just the letters you have learned? This is one of my pieces from my book for Bistan. It is made completely from letters. We hope you enjoy your adventure with Arabic calligraphy and thank you for watching this short introductory film.